Okay, now I have no energy left. I'm Hi! Welcome to Off Our Needles. We're the Grocery Girls. I'm Tracy. And I'm Jody. And today we're talking about knitting on the go. Taking your knitting with you. It's summer. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the pool. Yeah. Maybe a music festival. And my knitting is totally coming when with me. When do you ever go to a music okay, festival? Okay, the music festival <laughs> is not happening. Okay. But maybe so beach. We're thinking small. We're thinking portable. Yeah. We're thinking on the go. Right. Right? Yes. I love to travel with my knitting. If I don't have my knitting in my purse when I leave, it's a problem. When I get set to go somewhere, yeah. whether it's on vacation or if I'm doing a day thing, yes. right? Yes. My yarn and projects are the first thing that, that I need to get oh, organized. Oh, I, I completely agree. Yeah. It's always yarn and projects first, which includes an emergency ball of yarn, and includes my entire knitting needle package because... Emergency 35 needles. Emergency Just in 35, case. No, I'm not even kidding you. I take the whole thing, and it's precious. If I lose my needle case, I'm in trouble. So I put it in my carry-on luggage. I don't put it under the plane. Put everything under the plane. And it gets x-rayed and I always get pulled over because it looks like daggers in my bag. Yeah, you know what I'm wondering though? What exactly do you think in six days is gonna happen that you need 35 needles and 11 balls of extra yarn? I, I think I should probably let go a little bit, but that's what I do. That's it, that's what I do. So we're gonna talk all things knitting on the go today. We are. We're gonna talk favorite things, yeah. as always. Some really, really good ones for yeah summer knitting on the go and I love Color My World. We have an amazing Color My World to show you guys this week. Yeah, we have Pattern Parade. Yes. Maybe some suggestions that you are going to find that you want to knit this summer. Absolutely. Yep. And in that Pattern Parade, there's even a free pattern. So in this episode, we are going to check in with our sweater cal. This is exciting. So I it's know. our first knit along and it's our first check in and we've been knitting the body of our sweater. Yep. And I hope you guys are having as much fun with your Zadie sweater as I am because I am loving knitting this. Thing. Yeah, we have a few tips and tricks. We're at a point where I can show you a little bit of a demo yeah, these on our sweater. These tips are amazing. And yeah. then it helps you move on to that next section yeah. for the knit along. So let's knit. Let's do it. Okay, so check-in number one, yes. our summer sweater cal. I have knit the body of my sweater. You have, it looks amazing. It does, and you know what? I am thrilled with this little garter bump. Me too. Aren't you? It's a really cute little hem detail. I love garter stitch yeah. anyway. And then you've got this amazing stockinette body. Look how pretty your yarn looks. Gosh, Doesn't that I love yarn, this stuff. The, the stitch definition? Yeah. How beautiful is that? I am that? loving using this beautiful yarn, this Highland Twist yarn. Yeah. So you're right, we have cast on, we've done our hem rimming, and we have knit the stockinette body up to the right measurement for your size in the pattern. And now we've got yeah. some fun, exciting things to do. So let me just tell you uh, one little thing that happened with me is I know my body's a little bit longer. Right. And so what I did was I measured from my armpit and I had have someone help me with that. Yeah. I held it here just so, because if you're doing this, you're going to change your measurement, yeah. right? And so I had someone hold a measuring tape and I wanted it to, f I held it where I wanted the sweater to fall. Okay. And that was a really good tip because I knit an extra two and a half inches. Yeah. Right? That's fantastic. So yeah. these are customizable spots in the sweater where you need to think about my body type isn't great for a short little, you know, hitting your waist sweater. Right. You want it to hit right. sort of a flattering spot on you. A little bit farther on me. You, yeah. it may be longer. For, for another person, it may be shorter. Yeah, I so, did add an inch myself yeah. too. So yeah. that was a really good spot if you guys just stop and sort of think, yeah. well, is that the length that I want mine? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you know what else you can do if you thought about it? You can change things like you can do a thicker border here. Yeah. I wouldn't do any less than this because you want a no, little bit. No, this is going to be perfect. A little more not bulk, but you want a little more substantial of a border when you... Yeah, the you know, garter ridges keep it from rolling. Stockinette yes. fabric rolls, this is going to keep it from doing that once we block it. Yeah, it yeah. rolls now, but it will be blocked. So that's another way on the body that you could have customized, you know, a little bit longer here. So just keep in mind things like that when you're knitting garments. There, there are areas where you can deviate right. from the pattern and do different lengths and things like that. Right. So I've knit up to uh, where it says the completed length of your body. So right. for me, it was a few extra inches for you, like we talked about, it might be different. Right. So I'm at the part where we are going to put stitches on hold for the main body, as well as stitches on hold for the underarms. And it couldn't be easier. I mean, the pattern, like we talked about, is super well written. Yeah. And if you just follow the instructions step by step, you're gonna have no problem either. But I would love to share with you how I do it. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm going to knit up to my marker. I'm going to slip my marker, knit eight more stitches, and then put the previous 16 stitches on waste yarn. Boom. Because we're gonna use our needles for our sleeves, we're gonna need to put a stopper on the end of our cord. So these tulip plugs are the perfect thing for that, which frees up our needles so we can go on to our sleeves. Perfect, stitches on hold, ready and waiting for sleeves. Okay, well that was super easy. Yeah. And I just love those stoppers. That was perfect. Perfect. So our next step in the sweater is we're going to knit two sleeves and we will join them together with the body. So our next sweater knit along check-in, three weeks, sleeves. We're gonna make it all together and we'll show you how to do that one too. Perfect. Yeah. So this is Color My World segment, and in Color My World, we like to take the same exact pattern yes. and knit it in completely different colorways just to really change the feel of our knitted item. Today we're going to be talking about the Changing Light Scarf by Jennifer Wiseman. I love it. It is so beautiful and so fun to knit. There's a ton of texture, and there is a beautiful chevron type pattern that you get. It's a little technique called knitting on the bias. We're using the Cloudborn Merino superwash fingering in the single ply today and it yep. is so gushy and soft on your neck. I love using this for things like scarves and shawls where you can feel that softness around your neck. I love a single. Yeah, yeah me too. I do love it's a perfect single. perfect for this kind of thing. Okay, so let's show the one that I have here first. Okay. I'm crazy about pink. I've chosen the petal, which is the, the semi-solid, and then this one is a Lorna's Lace in the same brand. The Lorna's Laces does this amazing speckled variegated yarn. Gosh, it gives such texture. It does, doesn't and it? And punch, I think. There is pink running through here. So when I was knitting it, it was really fun because there's pink and cream in yes. here. I am just thrilled how this turned out. I think my favorite sections are when you're just alternating back and forth between two colors. It's sort yeah. of a transitional section. And then, then of course, it moves into the big heavy speckles, and then you've got it up here where you're transitioning to the pink again. But the play of them together, yeah. it's just so beautiful, and it well, really does complement all well, the colors. The thing that I love about this is I'm easily distracted, or I get bored quite easily. Yeah. So, this pattern though, you know, you start off with one section, yes. very quickly, you're gonna go to another section. Yeah. Very quickly again. So very quickly you're either changing your stitches or you're changing color. Yes. Which let me tell you, it keeps my attention and it was so much fun to knit. I agree. So yeah. it, it is knit on the shorter, you know, across like that, so the rows are not very long. You can do just one more row in no time at all. Because really, it's the same amount of knitting, but when you're knitting the stitches this way. I know, the rows seem gosh, so long. Gosh, the rows seems long. So I appreciated the shortness of the, the rows. Me too. For this wrap. Me too. Love. Here is mine in the colorways that I've chosen. I, I love, love this. I feel like this is really kind of soft and moody and cool color tones. Yeah. Of course, gray, because you know I start pretty much everything with it's gray. It's a real taupey gray, isn't it? It is, it's really gorgeous. And then I really loved, I was crazy about the Lorna's laces. So this one has lots of dark blues and light blues. It's even got a little pop of purple in there. And, and I feel chartreuse. Like, yeah, and I think that purple really pops out because it's the only place that it is in the, in the pattern. I do love that. Yeah, and it really highlights that. And of course, a denimi blue which I think is really beautiful with the gray. Yeah. So this one feels completely different to me than the pink does. with the black and cream. You know, speckled yarn like this gets me so excited. I know, I agree Isn't totally. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's really, it's almost like, you know, painted art on your yarn. And yeah. so everything's gonna be slightly different because all of those skeins are slightly different. They've been hand painted. Gosh, those go well together. Mm. Okay, but I have to say, I love the one in the solid colors equally as well. I don't know how you could pick a favorite out of these. I know. You see some beautiful, look at this tonality in the in this purple here. There's sort of pinkies and mauves and a medium purple. And then of course, two grays because gray. I love it. So this gorgeous kind of light heathered gray and then the charcoal, which, I what do you know. think about that? It's so pretty. It seems to frame that lighter color and really make the purple pop. I hope everybody else loves this pattern because it was so much fun to knit. It's just the perfect length. It really is. Yeah, I love this one. Doesn't it feel like a cloud around your neck? It really does. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, easy to shape to wear. 
Yes. Super easy shape yes, to wear. Yes, for the shawl, kind of like it's hard hard to wrap. Like for me, this one is so effortless. You You're just wrapping it on. in pairs. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. So that's it. Color my world this week. How gorgeous is the Changing Light Scarf by Jennifer Wiseman? What colors are you going to pick when you knit yours? My first favorite thing is the Everything Mary yarn roll up case. This thing has saved your bacon. Like, you take this to the pool. No kidding. It closes with some beautiful magnets, but look at this. It has a zipper pocket where you can see all your stitch markers and your little scissors. Yeah. You can even, it's got all these pockets, so I can just pop my knitting needles in there. And it's got long ones for straight needles. Yes. These could be for double pointed needles. And then it's got this awesome double ended clear section. It's got grommets in the end right here where you can actually have your yarn feeding out and it doesn't bounce around all over the place at the beach or wherever you happen to be. I love a good carry case. Totally. So you can just pop, say yeah. this was a yarn cake. You could pop it in there. You could actually have two because it's double ended and you could feed your yarn right out the end and just keep knitting. I know. And for someone who's so not organized, yeah. when I find something like this that makes me more organized, right. I, I just, I, I'm crazy about it. I told it. you, you're going to drag it everywhere. And the bag is washable. So I really love that one for knitting on the go. Tracy. I know. Nice. Yeah. So my next favorite thing is a progress keeper or progress keepers. I think of a progress keeper as jewelry for your knitting. Well, especially these ones. They're handmade. They're so special. I know. And ridiculously cute. Like, come on, I can't even stand some of these little guys. So Sugar Tots is a local gal to us. She mm -hmm. lives in Edmonton. This is just a, like a mini sampling of things that she makes. She's so incredible. Do you use progress keepers all the time for your work? Sometimes, not all the time, yeah. but I do sometimes. Sometimes like, you can use them to mark the right side of your knitting. If you're doing a yeah. garter project, it kind of looks the same. Also, it's if you're doing a big project, sometimes it gives you, it, it makes you spur you on if you can see how far you've come that day. Yeah. So I'll put my progress keeper where I've started my knitting and then at the end I can see how much I've done and I actually love that. You can choose to have a lobster clip which mm -hmm. is one of the spring loaded clips that are going to clip on your yarn and right. there's no way for it to come off. Yes. Or you can get a stitch marker. Yeah those are really handy. I have to say I use those a lot. So I love art. them. That's an awesome favorite thing. Isn't and it? Definitely portable. They're teeny weeny. Our next favorite thing is I am huge on a notions kit. Yeah. A fully stocked, when you're on the go, you don't want to forget that thing that obviously the one thing you forget is the thing you end up needing. Exactly. So this Clover knitting accessory set is amazing. It's got everything from stitch holders to tape measures to row counters and of course all the good things you use every single day like the um, locking stitch that. markers and the ring stitch markers and even a needle gauge. Perfect. And it comes in this resealable plastic pouch. This thing is tightly closed and it's going to stay nice for all your knitting needs, you right? You know what I have to say with this kit? And what? I, I use this myself, right? Mm -hmm. um, this tapestry needle is super good. I love a bent tapestry needle. Right? Yes. And it's metal and it's got a giant eye yes. there. That's a really good one. I loved this. So this is just a little snippet, you guys. I'm not kidding you. The price point on these are so good that I bought five. That's not crazy. Let me tell you why. Because I'm the type of person that I don't have organized things. So yes. if I was going to go somewhere, I'd have to go through my notions pouch. I'd yes. have to go through my little tin next to my bed. Yes. So with this, I can safely say when I put it in the bag, I know that I've got everything I need. I agree. You buy a few, you stash them in project bags, and you're never without all the goodies that you need when you're knitting on the go. Don't you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. So that was our favorite things. Absolutely. Yeah. So what did we talk about? We've got the Everything Mary Yarn roll-up case which is phenomenal. Oh You've got your beautiful notions kit and then we have the sugar tots stitch marker yeah. slash progress keepers which will feel awesome in our new knitting bag. They really right? Will. Yeah. Bling your yarn. Bling, <laughs> bling it out. Yeah. Well sometimes it's hard to decide what to knit, what to take yeah. on the go. So and I love these suggestions. I do. So we're having a little bit of a pattern parade. Absolutely. We've chosen a few items that we thought were really great ones just to shove and go. Small, right? <laughs> Portable. <laughs> shove, shove and go. And go. <laughs> or, you know, take your knitting with you. Okay. So honestly, last summer all I did was knit socks. I dragged, you know, know, socks in a little sock bag with me. And it makes sense when you're in Canada and winter is like nine yeah. months long. There's, There's some beautiful socks here that I think you would love to knit and have. The first one I love are the Atlantic Current, so current Atlantic Current 
Socks a by bit Melissa of a tongue Tut twister. It is a kind of a tongue twister by Melissa Tuttle. And these were knit in a beautiful Cloudborn Superwash Merino, the hand paint variegated yarn. How fun and I, is that? It's so beautiful. And I love the slip stitch detail on these. So they're oh not totally gosh. vanilla. You have something to do and yeah. you get really cool looking socks with one ball of sock yarn. Although this gives you a, the illusion of a great patterning, this, you guys, is so easy. It is. It's easy. You're going to have it memorized. You can take yeah. it on the go. I love that one. Let's talk about the shawl. Okay, this one's so beautiful. This is the Side Effect Shawl by Kate Atherley, <gasps> who's an incredible oh designer. Gosh. We talked about her in season one. We love everything Kate Atherley. Absolutely. Yeah. So this one is a one skein project, believe it or not. All of these colors came out of one skein of yarn, which is yeah. so cool. No ends to weave in other than the beginning and ending. All of these colors, it's just sort of like, sort of a gradient yarn, but it's just a one ball project. And it's yes. garter stitch with some gorgeous lace. And I feel like this is super easy to memorize and take on the go. And you know what the nice thing, people think shawl for summer and mm. think, what? But you know those evenings where you're thinking- Definitely. You know, you just need a little something on your shoulders. Definitely. Is this not perfect? With a little sundress or something? I think that's perfect. How pretty is that? You I could love have it. a little shawl pin here or something. Done. Done. Outfit finished. Okay. Socks. And Another more pair. socks. Socks, socks, and more okay. socks. Really. Tell us about these. Who these are the uh, Schism Socks by Rich Enser. Again, beautiful hand painted yarn and lots of cool slip stitches. And look at all this. They've got their stitches sort of leaning this way and yep. that way. I love, this one is really fun. Okay, do you guys notice right off the bat that these look like two totally different socks? I see that. So when you put them on your feet, you're going to see both stitch patterns running down the foot like that. I mean, that is not a boring sock. Yes. Again, one ball of sock yarn, yep. take it on the go. This sock I think is really beautiful. But because the pattern is very repeated, Mm -hmm. that this is something that's easily memorized. Oh, sure. Right? What? It's not one of those ones that you've got to be quietly in a room. No. Watching your charts. This is definitely on the go, travel yeah. knitting. As soon as you do a couple of repeats, you'll know exactly what's going on. And it's just easy to go. It's just a really fun, unique looking pattern. Okay, I love wacky socks. I know. This is definitely a wacky sock in the best way. This is designed by our own Sun Meyer. Yes. Sun is um, a Craftsy member. She works in Craftsy and she designed two PDF downloads. She's an amazing knitter, amazing. For free for you guys. So these are the free pattern downloads that we yeah. talked about earlier. And what is more portable than dishcloth knitting? Sometimes some people might think dishcloths. Oh no, these on. are amazing. If you've ever knit a dishcloth yes. or had someone give you a hand knit dishcloth, you know how great they are to use. They're so much better than anything yeah. else. I challenge you to use a hand knit dishcloth and ever want to go back to using something else. But you know what else? To me, these are luxury um, hand towels, face that, towels. That's what I was going to say. When you knit it in a yarn as beautiful as this Pima cotton, these can become like spa washcloths that exactly. you can give as gifts um, or just enjoy yeah. yourself because this yarn is unbelievable. But look at the patterning. Yeah, one skein of yarn and you're going to be able to knit all three yeah. in the download. And you get two choices of pattern selection. Yeah, so there's one, one of the downloads is these fun um, square patterns. So Which she's, I love. She's taken the square and there's one in the middle here mm -hmm. and then four and then nine. Yeah, I love it. That? I do, I love right? it. And then if you're not sort of into as much patterning as the next, mm -hmm. this one is a really nice option because you're not really seeing patterning per se, but there's a different stitch in every single one. Yeah, and these have lots of texture, so if you are going to use them as yeah. like a washcloth, they're in the practical sense, they're really good that yeah. way. Okay, so you know what I heard? This wasn't my idea, but somebody had done this. Somebody had done a set of three mm -hmm. for a bridal shower and put some really beautiful uh, body wash and some body cream with it. That's and that was a, a gift. Idea. And it's summer, everybody's getting married in the I summer. Know. And That's my birthday's in the summer. And my birthday's in the summer. So. Great gift ideas and a free download and one ball of yarn. How great it. is that? So that was it. That was our pattern parade. I love those ideas. Sometimes it's hard to pick a pattern yeah. and know what to knit. And I hope you guys get inspired by these ones. And if you want that free download for those beautiful washcloths, just click on the description box below and it's down there. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We feel like we had tons of fun with knitting yeah. on the go. We hope we've inspired you and your summer knitting or your little projects that you were going to want to shove in your beach bag or, or take to the park. Absolutely. Yep. Maybe you want to start a changing light scarf. And of course, I hope you're having so much fun with your Zadie sweater knit along. And you're going to be casting on your sleeves to join us next but, time. And there's a hashtag. And of course, yep. 
what's a knit along without a hashtag? I know. So on social media, Instagram and Facebook, you can use the hashtag off our needles as well as the hashtag knit along. Yep. And we do have our off our needles Ravelry group. So we have a thread open in there for the knit along. Post some pictures, join in the chatter. That's the yeah. whole fun of a knit along for me because we, we can feel that. the community of that we're all knitting this together. So if you are looking for any information about this episode, check the description box below. There's amazing links. There's a link to the free pattern. Yes. There's links to everything we talked about. Yeah, because knitting on the go is amazing. It's yeah. such a fun part of summer. Don't forget to leave us a comment, because we really do. We love, we read every single thing you write. Absolutely. We love to hear your suggestions or what you thought about the episode. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up Thumbs button. up and subscribe. That would be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.